The man I always film. How's it going, Seven Ribbons TV? Back on the scene, live. We got a flat tire. A little too much fun this afternoon, so we're gonna show you how to repair it in the field. You need three things. First of all, you need a pump. Little guy, costs you about 25 bucks at the bike store. Schrader Presta, it'll do both. You need a tire iron or a tire lever, and you need a patch kit. You might need a tube, but we're gonna hope for not on that. All right, so let's get started. First, we gotta take the tire off. So we loosen up the hub. We gotta disengage the brakes. Make sure you don't know how to do it on this bike. There we go. There we go. Pull out the tire. All right. Now you find a valve stem. You start at the opposite side. Take your tire lever. Uh-oh, we might have just ripped the tire. So this this might be a walk down for us. <laughs> but we'll... So we're back. This is called a blown tire. I don't think either of us have ever seen that in our mountain biking careers. <laughs> but there's a first time for everything. So we're not sure or not if we can use this tire. So what we're gonna do is check the tube, see if the tube will hold air. It's a slow process with a mini pump. There it, it is. Appears as it's if right here. We have a rip. So this, good fellows, is not patchable. It can be a puncture, but it can't be a tear. So this tube is trash. The question is, should we try our good tube that we have in the rip tire? What do you think, Will? Okay, I think we'll try it. Yeah. Will, Will says we're down to blow some more tubes today. So this one's trash, we'll carry it out of here. Two tires, two tubes actually. This is our dead one, this is a new one. Take a look at the difference of the valve stems. This is Presta over here, and this is a Schrader valve. You can see the difference. All right, so we're gonna try, because our pump will do either. We're gonna try the Presta. The important thing to remember is it's possible that you had two punctures or two flats at the same time. So you got to run your hand through the inside of the tire all the way around to make sure you don't have thorns in there. If you still have a thorn sticking through your tire, you go to pump it back up, you just popped your second tube. Alright, it looks like we're good. this nut off. Find our valve stem hole. There it is. Start there. One thing to remember is you got to get the tire lined up flat. It can't be twisted because when you go to pump it up the twist will cause it to tear. Good thing we're not in a race right now. <laughs> I don't think we'd be setting any speed records. But if we were in a race, we'd carry one of the CO2 cartridges so we wouldn't have to pump it up. It costs a little bit more money, but they're fast. All right, so it looks like we got it in straight. We're going to put the bead back in the rim. We'll finish it up with the tire iron. Okay, we'll give it a squeeze. Praying we got our tube straight. Feels good. 
And it looks like I've pulled it off the rim again. Like a real pro. Yep. You do. Thank you. And now we pump. So now they're pumped. We got a new tube. We're ready to go. So now I got the wheel back on. Tighten up the brakes. Actually. I think we're gonna leave this one undone because our wheel is not true anymore, so we'll rub. <sighs> and we're ready to ride.